considered one of the most undeveloped, pristine ecosystems on the planet. The northeastern portion of the Canadian province of Alberta is blanketed with thousands of square miles of magnificent boreal forests. Today, hundreds of miles of this vastly diverse ecosystem have been so irreparably destroyed that scientists agree they can never be restored. This is Canada's oil sands drilling and strip mining operation. A testament to big oil's unlimited greed and determination to keep the U.S. addicted to oil. The Canadian oil sands reserve is the second largest in the world behind Saudi Arabia. But unlike Saudi crude, Canada's oil sands are layers of tar-like bitumen mixed with sand and clay. Wastewater from mining operations eventually becomes a contaminated slurry spewed into giant tailings lakes that to date cover an unbelievable 130 square kilometers or 50 square miles. Scientists estimate that as much as 11 million liters or nearly 3 million gallons of this highly toxic wastewater seep into groundwater daily. To produce one of the dirtiest of all fossil fuels, Oil sands operations in 2007 generated about 40 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions, the equivalent of pollution from 10 million cars, making oil sands Canada's ground zero for global warming. Canada is the United States' number one supplier of foreign oil, importing nearly 800,000 barrels a day, with plans to triple imports by the year 2020. The time to take action is now, because time is running out, and the damage from the oil sands is spreading. Pipelines from Alaska and the Arctic Ocean are currently proposed that would feed natural gas into the oil sands. New and expanded pipelines are proposed to carry dirty oil west through British Columbia for shipment to Asia, and east across Canada into the US to the coast of Maine. A vast network of pipelines would crisscross the United States, including such environmentally sensitive areas as the Great Lakes and the Missouri and the Yellowstone Rivers, delivering dirty oil to as many as 33 existing, expanded, or new refineries. What will we do about our addiction to foreign oil? We need a much bolder and much bigger set of solutions. We have to make a serious nationwide commitment to developing new sources of energy, and we have to do it right away, right now. Without question, we are addicted to oil. The question is, will we choose a future that confronts the realities of the 21st century by building a 21st century economy? an economy that ends our addiction to oil by rapidly accelerating fuel efficiency and by using existing and new technologies to harness wind, sun, and other clean energy sources. By becoming part of the new energy economy, you take a place on the front lines of this battle, and you play an important role in creating the new 21st century economy. Please, Support local efforts and legislation to stop the pipelines and refinery expansions. Write or call your representatives. Tell them you don't want Canada's dirty oil coming into this country. And contribute to the Oil Sands Campaign, which funds groups fighting for a cleaner, healthier, more sustainable energy future. Go to our website to find out how you can help these groups or sign up for alerts on simple steps you can take at critical moments to end the expansion of dirty oil and speed the transition to the new energy economy. With your help, we can end our addiction, stop the flood of dirty oil, and finally together take control of our own energy future.